Hey guys, what's up? It's Presley and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of my brand new room. I am so excited because I just moved and my room is officially done so you guys get to get a tour. I know you guys are going to love it. So before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and toss post notifications so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to go shop my new clothing line by clicking the link in the description box down below. <laughs> Okay, so let's start over here. This is kind of like my floating shelf area. Starting, we have all of my magazines, all of my Vogue ones from October to March, and then my InStyle magazines, the January, December ones over there on my bed, because I still haven't finished reading that since Christmas, but that's okay. And then I have my little jar of my guitar picks. This gold paper clip, and this actually came from my last room and my room before it, so I've had it for a really long time. It doesn't really match, but it's still really cute, and I probably will make my dad spray paint it. And then this light up sign. I don't have an outlet near here so it doesn't light up but it's still there. And then moving up here we have these super cute little mini shoes. So this is the Ben & Jerry Chunky Dunks. I actually have like the actual shoes of these. They're super cute. They're little like keychains but they came with the boxes which I love. You have the Dior Jordans. Don't have those yet. And then I have this little Lego, <laughs> it's Rapunzel because everybody tells me that I remind them of Rapunzel, so they look alike. And one of my favorite Disney princesses, my other one is Elsa. And then I have a fake plant, but my mom hates fake plants, so I have to put it up here so that she doesn't really see it. And then I have my Polaroid camera, which takes black and white photos, which matches my room. So once I get enough of those, I'm going to hang them up because I think it'd be really cute. Then I have my letter board that says be kind on it and it has my social handles. So make sure you go follow me for more content. And then as we move this way, we have my dresser. We have all of my little clay rings that I made. I don't really wear them because they are huge. I also made the trays, so that's why they're all here. This is an egg and I made this before I couldn't eat eggs, so now it's kind of sad to look at. Then we have another little tray that I made. Not too interesting. They're not really that cute, but I tried. <laughs> then we have my vlog camera. Camera to camera. Just kidding, it's not, or it's not working right now. Then a lamp, it's kind of boring. Don't really use it. Then I have my magazine with my face on it. Super cool. We have so many copies of these around my house. They're everywhere. And then I have my training program little yearbook. And then I have my Justin Bieber Justice record. I have not gotten my record player yet, but I have this because I love Justin Bieber so much. Then we have all of my jewelry. I have so much. It is actually kind of a mess, but it is kind of organized. This isn't organized, so we're just not gonna look at this part, but this is, this is all my bracelets. And then this is my, well, it's supposed to be necklaces and then earrings, but just all formed into one. Moving over here in my little corner, I have my huge poster that says, love yourself, because you always have to remember to love yourself, because that is the most important thing, because nobody's gonna love you like you love yourself. One of my most favorite things from my room is my hanging bubble chair. If you have been following me or watching my videos for a while, you will know that this came from my house in New Jersey, so like three houses ago and it's so cute and I love just sitting in it and spinning. I go like this. This is where I sit and do school because then I can like look outside. I feel like I get more work done when I like sit here cause it's so bright and I don't get distracted unless I'm spinning, then I'm distracted. And then on my window, I have this. Most of my film photos are here. I actually just hung this up like five minutes ago because I just thought about it. And I was like, oh my God, that'd be so cute. So I uh, had my dad hang it up, but I have a bunch of little fun photos. Some of my family right here, there's my grandpa. So it's super cute just to like look at all the time, like remind me of all the fun memories because these are mostly from like last summer. So making our way this way, we have my vanity, which I literally sit at all the time. Probably spend more than like half of my day here because it's where I do school, when I'm not in the bubble chair, it's where I do like meetings and voice lessons and guitar lessons and obviously where I get ready. <laughs> so then on the side, we have this really pretty little vase with these flowers in it. This is from my management team for the launch of my clothing line. They're so pretty and I love pink flowers. I love the way they smell. Moving on to my vanity, we have my notebooks that I don't really write in. They're just kind of here, more for like decoration. And then we have my phone, which doesn't stay there, so just pretend that it's not there. Then we have my laptop holder with my laptop that has stickers all over it. I have them on my laptop, my water bottle, notebooks, phone cases, everything. But then when I have to take them off, it's so annoying because it leaves marks everywhere. But then we have my vanity that is so cool. This came from my last room too, so if you watched my last room tour, you've already seen it. But the lights like go on 
it off. And it also plays music, it's Bluetooth, which is really cool. I don't use that too much because in my old house, somebody connected to my mirror once and started playing stuff and it was really scary. Then I have another mirror, even though I have a whole mirror, I have a little tiny rose gold mirror that also used to light up, but I lost all the batteries when I was moving. Then I have my candle that I never use because my mom doesn't let me light candles in my room, but it does match my flowers. I've had this for literally two years and look, I've never used it. And then moving into my vanity, I'm just gonna give you guys a warning now. It is not organized, but I will show you. So this is my makeup. I definitely need to clean it out, but I have like my eye brushes, then my face brushes. And then I have all of my liquid face products and then my eye products and my lip products. Then I have all my powders. And then in the back is all of like palettes and just random stuff that I don't know where to put. So I just stuff it back there so that I don't see it. And then in this one, it used to be a hair drawer, but now it's kind of like a junk drawer because I just kind of throw everything in here. But I have like film cameras mixed in with hair brushes and hair products mixed in with glasses and stuff like that. So if my mom is seeing this, my drawer does not look like that. Moving on to my bed. I have this really cute gold bed frame, but you can't really see it because I have so many pillows. I love pillows so much. These are actually from Target, I think, but I swear they're the most comfortable pillows I have ever felt in my entire life. You should go to Target and find these. They have them in so many different colors. You need to get them because I swear they are life changing. Then I have this really cute Chanel pillow. This is from a brand called Designers Keepers on Instagram. So make sure you guys go check them out. They're super cool. Have a lot of cool products. That's also where I got my necklace holder over there. It's like a Louis Vuitton print, but I have so many pieces of jewelry on there that you can't even see it. And then I have a really cute little heart pillow. I really like it. And then I have this really cute little tray, I believe from Urban Outfitters with my planner on it and then my other magazine. And I'm telling you guys, I spent Christmas this year in Florida and I would read all my magazines on the beach. So this is filled with sand. So I really try not to read it on my bed because then I get sand everywhere. That's why it's so thick and like crumpled up because it was in my beach bags on the beach by the pool. And then I have a Free People magazine. Then I have this pink blanket, which I'm obsessed with because it's not like too heavy or like fluffy. It's super cozy and just like light, which I love. It also adds a pop of color to my room since everything is black and white, which I really love, but super cute matches the flowers and the candle I don't use. Then moving on to my wall collage. I love it so much. My old wall collage in my last room was black and white and pink. So this time I was like, no more pink, just black and white and it turned out perfect. I love that there's so much like New York stuff in here since I was born in New York, in New York all the time growing up, but there is some hints of LA, like you can see the little Hollywood sign there. And then there's a bunch of little fun quotes, like if not now, then when, see the world from a different point of view, become more aware of what's really worth your energy, very important. But yeah, it's so cute and I love just like looking at all of the photos all the time. One of my favorite ones are actually here. This one is adorable. It's like a little like, building but everywhere that has our lights on made it a heart which is so cute and then this one says libra because i'm a libra libras unite comment down below your zodiac sign i'm very curious over here i keep thinking back to a time under the canyon moon i don't really know what that means but it's so cute i love the little mountains and then the moon with the hearts and then my bedside table which is very cute it's gold it came from my house in new jersey as well i have this really cool like, I don't even know what you would call this, but it has like a cup and you pour water in it and then, and then it goes back on. So it's perfect for those times that you wake up in the middle of the night and need water. And then I have my remote and my glasses because fun fact, I actually have really bad eyesight. Well, not like horrible, but I do have bad eyesight. I don't wear contacts though. So I can't see like a lot of things like far away. Like I can't read a lot of things far away. So I probably should go to the eye doctor. And then I have a, another little thing of flowers. This is from one of my best friends, Simone. She sent it to me for my clothing launch as well. They're so pretty. I love them. They're pink and white and they smell. Then I have my chargers, or charger. There's usually more than one here. I don't really know where they went. And then I have my guitar, which is hiding an extension cord for these. Guys, I'm not a pro yet, but. Oh, okay, that's really bad. Okay, I cannot do it without a guitar pick. I just started taking guitar lessons, so nobody come at me if I'm doing this wrong. I haven't like learned a song yet, but I'm just learning the basics. Much better. This is E minor. Then this is an A. 
I've learned more about it. Let's go back to my room. Right before we get to my favorite part of my room, which is my closet, I'm gonna finish showing you guys everything that's out here. So right here, I have a cowboy hat because if you know me, you know that I'm obsessed with country music. I'm actually going to a Garth Brooks concert this weekend. Then I have my backpack. This like backpack, honestly means so much to me because when I first auditioned for Dance Mom, my mom was like, you know, if you book the show, then I'll buy you like your first like bag. And I got it in Vegas after I booked the show. So this was like one of my first designer purchases. So the last thing out here is my mirror. This is honestly so cool. I love this mirror so much. And the lighting is great. I have so many different lights in my room. I also have those, which I didn't show you guys, but they're kind of like lanterns. I can turn them on too. See, I'm telling you, my room is so bright. I don't like these though, because it makes it like yellow in here. Okay, so now moving on to my most favorite part of my room, and that is my closet. This is my favorite closet I think I've ever had in any of my homes that I had growing up. Honestly, it's the biggest one that I've had, and it is so organized. I'm so proud of myself for organizing it. But my favorite part is the way that my shoes are displayed. So here is my closet. Okay, so I'll give you a little rundown of the whole closet like organization. This is all of my tops. Not all of them because I have some that I put in my dresser. Everything is color coordinated in my closet. I've done this for as long as I can remember. And then I put into sections of like shirts, dresses, skirts, pants. Like I was saying, this is dresses. Again, nothing much to it. It is getting a little tight in here. There's quite a few hangers on every section. So maybe it's time for another closet clean out. Let me know if you want me to do another one of those videos because I did do one over the summer. It's actually two parts. So if you want to go watch it, make sure you go check it out. It was pretty crazy. I got rid of a whole lot of stuff. And I was also thinking the other day, what if I start like a Depop or something? Like, would you guys shop it? Let me know if you think I should start a Depop. I do actually have a Poshmark at the moment. It is called Presley Hospital. So if you guys want to go shop, hasn't been updated in a while. So let me know if you guys want me to update it with some newer clothes because I definitely will. And then we have my skirts again, getting a little crammed there in the corner. Fix that a bit. There we go. Then I have jeans. These are not all of my jeans. They're kind of just like the bigger jeans, I guess, that like I couldn't fold. Cause like these have literal rhinestones on them. So I had to hang them up and then these are huge. Then I have some samples from my brand new clothing line, which I told you guys earlier, you can go shop if you want to by clicking the link in the description box down below. You guys should definitely go check it out because there's some really cool pieces in there and I think you would definitely like it. And then the last part of my hang up section is like my good sweatshirts, I guess you could say, like the ones that I wear in like outfits and then jackets, sweaters and all that stuff. So I think that like my three like go-to jackets are this one, which I'm in love with this varsity jacket. It's a starter jacket and it has a bunch of different NBA teams on it, which is super cool. I like the Knicks and the Nets, which is like my home team. I also wear this whole lot. It's this Brandy Melville, like oversized black zip up. It actually comes quite in handy all the time. I bring it with me everywhere. But then for a more fancier vibe, we have this like oversized leather jacket, like blazer thing. Super cute, it's from White Fox. I really like it, I wear it all the time. But this one's also really cool. Just thought I'd share, cause it's kind of fun. It's like plaid with denim at the bottom and it opens in the back. I feel like a businesswoman when I wear it. That's why I like it. Now moving down to the bottom, we have these really plain cubbies, cubes. I don't really know what people call them. I also have a step stool because I can't reach the top of my closet because I'm a little short. The organization process in here, this whole thing is sweatshirts. I have way too many sweatshirts. It's a problem. I just cleaned it out recently and they're still stuffed. These are my hoodies. This one is from Aritzia. This one is from Spotify. This one is an NBA all-star hoodie and this one's from Ask On Heart. I love that I just know this by just like looking at it because I love hoodies. This one's a Justin Bieber hoodie. This one should be up here, but there's no room for it. Then I have this one from Ask On Heart, White Fox, Dean Pretty, and then this one says love on it. I have matching sweats to that. Then on top, you can probably see there's some clothes. Those are clothes that I have to give back to my friends that they left at my house. So I keep them up here and I always forget to bring them back. Then we have my crewnecks. These are like my favorite crewnecks, Michael Jordan. And he's wearing the Jordan 4 Oreos and I have them up there. So whenever I wear this, I have to wear those shoes. Then I just have a bunch of like urban hoodies, I think, are in there. Down here are 
just like my casual comfy hoodies. Then these are just more crewnecks. This is one of my favorite ones. It's an Aviator Nation. It's really cute. Moving on to over here, this is my Mickey ear bin. If you don't know, I have a very strong obsession with Disney and a very strong obsession with Mickey ears. As you can tell, they're kind of overflowing right now, so it's kind of hard to keep them in there. Then this is kind of just sweats, leggings, shorts, jean shorts, jeans, nothing really to it. But last thing in my closet is my shoes. Let me show you guys everything. Starting on this side, we have Jordan 1s. These two are my two favorite, I think. I don't know, it's hard to pick my favorites, but these are definitely up there. These are the UNC off white, and then these are the J Balvin's. And then making our way over here after the ones, these are kind of just like my workout sneakers. They're just Adidas. And then I have another pair of like dance shoes back there because I don't like to wear like, there's different. There's like dance shoes and there's like wear, like shoes that you wear out. Up there, a couple of the pairs of shoes that I wear to dance. And then we have my Jordan 4s. These are the Oreos that I was talking about before. The shimmers. And then these are the unions. Very cool. Then up there, we have the Sean Witherspoons, New Balances, Human Races. These are the Travis Scott Fragment Lows. My Yeezys are all up there because I used to be obsessed with them. I still do love Yeezys, but I used to wear them literally every single day when I was younger. Holy Grail, loved them. Now I would say my Holy Grail is kind of dunks. As you can see, quite a few right now. My favorites are the Paradunks, they're so sick. And then my Chunky Dunks, which are the keychains that I was showing you guys earlier on in the video. And then these are the Ungrateful Deads. And then two pairs of blazers. And then my Air Maxes up there. So that is a little shoe collection segment, I guess you could say. I will definitely be down to do a full on shoe video, but just like let me know which one you want because I could do so many different things, but I want to hear your opinions. Comment down below which video I should do with my sneakers. Okay, so that is my brand new room. I'm obsessed with it and I love the way that it came out. And I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Comment down below what you like better, my old room or this room. But if you haven't seen my original room tour, make sure you guys go check that out. It is on my channel. Make sure you guys go watch that video and then comment which one you like better. Personally, I think I like this one better. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post a brand new video and don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms they'll be right here on the screen and don't forget to click the link in the description box down below to shop my brand new clothing line thank you so much for watching always number two stay sweet see you next time bye